design the evaporator i want to design the a condenser okay so in that cases the concept of the boiling and condensers are plays very very important definition in case of the evaporator and which is used in the power plant or in the power cycle or refrigeration cycle that means or condensation or condenser okay the concept of the boiling and condensation is very very important so in the condensation condenser and evaporator and in the refrigerator part that is the h what is called as h heat transfer coefficient watt per meter square meter square kelvin is very very high understand the h value h value is called as a heat transfer coefficient of the fluid will be very very high because to get the effective heat transfer rate in the boiling and condensation that one is okay is a very very important that one is because in designing the a condenser and heat exchanger the h will be very very high and the boiling and condensation the concept will be very very important that one is okay now we are going to discuss about uh, in the today's classes the, what is the boiling that one is okay so how the boiling will be happening that one is and uh, this will be uh, i think uh, uh, i hope that in this will be the interaction interaction session that one is okay so next what is a boiling so boiling what is the objectives of this uh, chapter session is a boiling and condensation so we need boiling means certain is suppose that one is the plate is there uh, here is the plate okay suppose the plate is here and uh, above this plate understand above this plate water will be there and the heat the plate from the bottom side that means the temperature of this is called as a wall or plate okay temperature of the wall the plate will be very high and temperature of the fluid will be very very low heat transfer from the plate to the fluid will be taking place so that is due to the a convection that one is understand okay so when the temperature reaches that one is 100 degrees celsius at one atmospheric pressure the boiling will be start that one is so that is called as a boiling understand okay that is a what we call that one is a boiling okay boiling means that one is heat transfer from the plate to the a so liquid understand heat transfer from the plate to the liquid so the liquid which is at a lower temperature which is at a lower temperature of the plate then boiling will be start that one is understand so already we are very good in the what is that one is the a uh, daily we can see that one is the in uh, our lab that one is the, what is the meaning of the boiling that one is understand so what are the objectives of this chapter understand so first one is that uh, when you finish studying this chapter you should be able to that one is differentiate between the evaporating and boiling and gain the familiarity with the different types of boiling that one is then we can ask the questions what is the evaporation and what is the boiling that one is so difference between the boiling and that one is the uh, what is called as evaporation we we'll come to know what that one is and uh, what are the if the boiling occurs understand what are the different types of boiling that one is it may be pool boiling or it may be a, that one is the flow boiling that one is understand okay uh, i will give the analogy analogy of that one is the pool boiling and what is called as a, a flow boiling pool boiling means that one is called as a, a pool or that is called as a, a stationary fluid understand flow boiling when the fluid is flowing understand with the some external agency like pump or that one is heating will be taking place understand heating will be taking place that one is so that is called as a, a flow boiling that one is we have to discuss about uh, what is the pool boiling and what is the flow boiling okay then so second point of the objective is that develop a good understanding of the boiling curve okay how that one is the suppose that one is the uh, boiling will be taking place from the when the heat transfer from the plate to the fluid that one is understand if we take the a temperature difference what is the temperature difference plate temperature minus fluid temperature so that is called as the excess temperature understand okay so are you understand that all of you guys yes abdul yes, sir. yes yes sir uh, excess temperature excess temperature means certain is 
if the heat transfer taking from fluid to above fluid understand heat transfer taking place from so plate to fluid understand the sun is temperature of the plate minus temperature of the fluid is called as a, a excess temperature if the excess temperature goes on increase the sun is understand so we need to draw the a boiling curve that one is understand where the nucleation of the boiling will be taking place where the natural convection will be taking place where the radiation will be taking place that one is a, so that is called as a in case of pool boiling understand okay so we can develop the a boiling curve and different boiling regions okay that one is a suction regions means that one is a suction corresponding to the different regions of the boiling curve that one is understand okay next third objective is we are going to learn about that one is calculate the heat flux understand what is the maximum heat flux we can transfer to the from plate to the a water that one is understand what happens if the maximum heat plus occurs that one is if the uh, excess temperature is goes on increases understand what happens that one is okay melting of the plate will be taking place boiling of the plate there may be any chances of the cases that cases in that are also we are discussing and what is the maximum heat flux occurs that one is then what is the maximum why you call that one is a maximum heat flux and its critical value critical maximum heat flux means that one is a critical value beyond that one why you are calling that one is a critical value beyond that one what will happen understand okay critical value associated with the uh, nucleate boiling and resume that one is the and examine the resume of that method of boiling heat transfer announcement that one is next objective is that derive the relations of the heat transfer coefficient in the laminar film condensation or the vertical plate so that is called as a nusselt theory okay so there is only one derivation is there in uh, this chapter they may ask or they may not ask that one is we have to derive the equations which is that one is the which derive the heat transfer coefficient in laminar film condensation so what is the condensation whenever i am taking that one is the condensation chapter so we will discuss about these things sometimes then calculate the heat flux with the condensation on the inclined and horizontal plates okay whenever the plate is inclined whenever the plate is horizontal so how you calculate that one is called as the heat flux so we are also discussing about that one is it may be horizontal cylinder or it may be sphere or it may be two bundles but uh, uh, as per your syllabus purpose that one is the these are not hackers and only numericals will be there we will solve the numericals using the data handbook which are the because which are the formulas which are available in the data handbook that one is okay and examine exam last objective of this one is examine drop wise condensation and understand the uncertainties associated with them okay a drop wise condensation what is a drop wise condensation what is a film wise condensation okay so you know that one is the film wise condensation and drop wise condensation drop wise condensation means that one is the whenever the condensation happen on the plate drops are formed on the surfaces so in the drop wise condensation heat transfer rate will be more that one is so whenever i am taking into the classes of the condensation so i will discuss about the, the how the heat transfer rate will be maximum that one is okay so these are the uh, six objectives we are going to discuss and we are going to learn from this uh, uh, boiling and condensation chapter that one is okay yes so boiling heat transfer okay so already in the uh, what is called as in the first objectives uh, boiling heat transfer you operation and boiling what is the difference between the you operation and boiling that one is so water so i given the example of that one is the a water here water which is at 20 degrees celsius then after some times you operation will be taking place from the water that one is okay you operation the liquid so you operation occurs so that means the liquid and vapor interface understand okay you operation here is the 
so above the water surfaces there will be a vapor and here is the liquid hence the evaporation will be taking place at the interface of liquid and vapor liquid and vapor that one is interface when the vapor pressure when the vapor pressure is less than the saturation pressure of the liquid less than the saturation pressure of the liquid that one is understand why this one is the evaporation because of the pressure is reduces understand pressure is a heating when the temperature will be increases certain is and that means the vapor will be formation that taking place when the vapor that one is the so that one is the formation will be taking place pressure will be decreases understand so this is the vapor pressure that vapor pressure is less than the saturation pressure of the liquid that one is understand so that one is vapor pressure is always less than the saturation pressure of the liquid hence the vaporization of the the what is called as a liquid taking place that one is thus that is called as a evaporation and evaporation occurs at liquid and vapor phase that one is understand interface when the vapor pressure is less than the saturation pressure of the liquid at a given temperature at a given temperature understand okay so this is the example we can see that one is understand so evaporation occurs at main difference main difference is what is the evaporation evaporation occurs at the interface of liquid and vapor understand okay liquid and vapor when the vapor pressure is less than the what is called as a saturation pressure of the liquid at the given temperature it is called as a evaporation that one is then what is called as a boiling what is called as a boiling here that one is the boiling of water 100 degrees celsius we are taking that one boiling occurs here that one is boiling occurs at the solid and liquid interface understand what is evaporation evaporation occurs at liquid and interface here understand evaporation occurs at liquid and so vapor interface but boiling occurs solid and liquid interface that one is so this is called as a solid this one is called as a cooker or something that one is heating will be taking place here heating will be taking place so that one is the heat transfer to the solid and to the water then boiling will be taking place hence that one is boiling will be occurs at the interface of solid and liquid understand when the liquid is brought in contact with the surface of the solid understand when the liquid in the brought to contact with the surface of the solid that one is or surface that one is maintained at a temperature substantially above the saturation temperature of the liquid understand what i am telling you if they so saturation temperature of the water is 100 degrees celsius understand if the surface temperature okay is a solid temperature is above the 100 degrees celsius then boiling will be taking place at a time okay then if the water temperature is 20 degrees celsius suppose for example if the water temperature is 20 degrees celsius then surface temperature is 10 degrees celsius the boiling will not take place understand boiling will not take place when the surface temperature is greater than the temperature of water okay saturation temperature of the liquid then boiling will be taking place remember understand when the surface temperature is greater than the surface temperature of the solid is greater than the saturation temperature of the liquid understand saturation temperature of the liquid then only the boiling will be taking place the boiling occurs at solid and liquid interfaces only when the liquid in contact with the uh, solid that one is. so this is the uh, evaporation and boiling that one is is there any doubt here no no sir yes then classification of the boiling understand what i am telling that one is the what is the boiling and what is the uh, uh, so the, what are the types of the boiling that one is so we got that one is the definition of boiling boiling okay this is the process of uh, okay heating that one is the okay the supplying the heat or enthalpy 
So that's whatever the temperature of the solid is greater than the what is called as a saturation temperature of the liquid, then only the boiling will be taking place separation. Okay, so that one is the classification of the boiling. Okay, one is called as a, a pool boiling, and other one is called as a, a second one is called as a, a flow boiling here. That one is. What is the pool boiling? Suppose if we take the vessel here, give you an example here, vessel, and so heating will be taking place. So that one is called as a, a pool boiling. That one is okay. Swimming pool. Swimming pool. We can call that one is the pool. Why? Because of the the constant water in there that is a confined in the confined area. Understand? Confined area. So that is called as a swimming pool. We can call that one as a swimming pool. Understand? Okay. The soil is called as a, a pool boiling. Boiling is called as a pool boiling in the absence of bulk fluid flow. In the absence of bulk fluid flow. Okay. Fluid. The flowing of the fluid will not take place. Understand? Means that flowing, flowing of the fluid will not take place. That is becomes a stationary. If you taking the water in the vessel, that means heating of the water will be taking place. That such type of the heating or so in that cases also boiling will be taking place. So such in this in such that in such cases the boiling is called as a, a pool boiling. That one is understand. Okay, any motion of the fluid. Second thing is that second point here. Any motion of the fluid is due to the a normal or that one is called as a, a natural conduction current. Understand? Okay. Suppose the heating will be taking place. Okay. So this is called as a vessel here, and heating will be taking place. Heat transfer from the a solid metal to the a. So this one is the liquid here that is called as a, a convection. What type of convection? Natural convection. Understand? What type of convection is natural convection? Here the fluid is not flowing. Understand? That's why whatever the heat transfer is taking place, that is due to the a natural convection only. So in the pool boiling, natural convection will be occurs. That one is. Understand? Okay. Any motion of the fluid is due to the natural convection current. And the motion of the bubbles. Okay, naturally that one is the the bubbles will be raised. Understand? Suppose if we take the one pot and heater will be put into the a pot that one is. Then after the some times the bubbles will be raised to the surface of the water that one is. That is called as a, a convection. Heat transfer will be taking place that one is. Understand? So bubbles will be raising and come to the top that one is. Understand? So that is called as a, a natural convection. Why is it a natural connection? Heat transfer taking place due to the a density difference only. Why the bubbles moving up in the uh, whenever heating the water, the density whenever the temperature of the liquid particles will be raised. Understand? Density of the liquid particles will be decreases. Whenever that turns the density of the liquid particles will be decreases. And it loses its weight and moves to the a top portion surface of the water that one is. Hence, the bubbles will be rise up that one is. Understand? Hence, that one is any motion of the fluid, okay, inside the a vessel is due to the a natural convection current and the motion of the bubbles under the influence of buoyancy. Understand? What is the meaning of the buoyancy? That one is the bubbles will be moved due to the Decreases in the density of the liquid particles. Certain is understand. Okay, this is called as the a pool boiling. That one is so boiling is called as a pool boiling in the absence of bulk of fluid flow. Understand? Okay, so remember that one is. Then what is the flow boiling? For example, okay. Then uh, what is called as a flow boiling? Flow boiling. Okay, flow boiling is depending upon the a Reynolds number also. That one is. Suppose that one is fluid is flowing in the pipe. Okay, fluid is flowing in the pipe. Then the fluid flow in the pipe is due to the a pump or blower. Anything that one is okay. Fluid may be a gaseous or it may be a liquid. That one is understand. The flow of fluid in the pipe is due to the pump or any blower or any external agency. That one is then. 
heating will be taking place okay on the surface of the pump on on the surface of the pipe okay then so this is called as a flow boiling flow boiling that one is understand okay here in the given that one is this is the pipe and the so fluid will be in the flowing in the pipe that one is the fluid will be flowing flowing due to the external agency that one is and heating will be taking place on the other sides both the sides of the surface of the pump then boiling will be taking place inside the pump so that one is the pipe that one is so such type of the boiling is called as a, a flow boiling why do you call it as a flow boiling because of the so heating will be taking place whenever the fluid is flowing that one is understand okay so that is called as a flow boiling here boiling is called as a flow boiling in the presence of bulk fluid flow bulk fluid flow in the flow boiling the fluid is forced to move in a heating pipe or over a surface by the external means such as a pump that one is okay external means such as a pump or any fan or something that means any external agency that one is okay so i think the sum is the this uh, any calculations regarding the flow boiling is depending upon the renards number also because of the a uh, flow is due to the external agency that one is understand okay so then we will discuss that what is the classification of boiling that one is, one is called as a flow pool boiling and other one is called as a flow boiling that one is in the pool boiling water is not flowing and in the flow boiling water is flowing due to the some other agency that one is okay so in that cases both the cases heating will be taking place and due to that heating the boiling will be taking place that one is okay so do so uh, all of you understood this one is so what is the pool boiling and what is the pool so flow boiling yes sir okay so next yes uh, i uh, we discuss about that one is the what is the sub cooled boiling and classification of boiling together and saturated boiling that one is one is called as a pool boiling other one is called as a flow boiling and other two are sub cooled boiling and other one is called as a saturated boiling that one okay so i ask that one is the the boiling is also possible uh boiling of the water okay boiling of the water is also possible if it is less than 100 degrees celsius okay so if the atmospheric pressure is one atmospheric pressure one atmospheric pressure that means the uh, atmospheric pressure saturation pressure and saturation temperature is that means the actually that means 100 degrees celsius okay if okay if the water start boiling okay so at below 100 degrees celsius that is called as a sub cooled boiling okay so i will ask that one is okay so here the vessel here here the vessel the p is equal to one atmosphere heating of the vessel will be taking place and the surface temperature is 107 degrees celsius so all of you look into the diagram here surface temperature is 107 degrees celsius and this one water that one is a saturation temperature is called as a water that is a temperature is called as a this is not a saturation temperature water temperature is called as a 80 degrees celsius understand if the boiling start at 80 degrees celsius then that is called as a sub cool boiling okay here i am once again i am saying that means this is a vessel vessel contains the water and water that one is at 80 degrees celsius and pressure one atmospheric pressure and 107 degrees celsius is called as a surface temperature of the water and the heat transfer from this 107 degrees celsius surface to the water and the water start boiling at 80 degrees celsius means that the temperature of the main body of the liquid is below the saturation temperature okay that is called as a sub cool boiling that one is you understood all of you yes, when sir. the temperature of the main body what is the main body water when the temperature of the main body of the liquid is below the saturation temperature 
what is the saturation temperature 100 degrees celsius is the saturation temperature understand so is below the 100 degrees celsius temperature below the saturation temperature then such type of boiling are called as a, a sub cooled boiling mechanism understand so what is saturated boiling that is here shear that is the here the vessel here and heating of the vessel will be taking place and surface temperature is 107 degrees celsius and saturation temperature of the water is 100 degrees celsius and water start boiling at 100 degrees celsius so such type of boiling are called as the as saturated boiling that one is okay so when the temperature of the liquid okay temperature of the liquid is equal to the saturation temperature then that cases the what is called as a, a boiling will be taking place so that is called as a, a saturated boiling that one is okay so i think you have understand what is the meaning of that one is okay so that is what is the sub cooled boiling and saturated boiling so in general i am telling that one is when the saturation temperature, okay, when the temperature of the liquid is less than the saturation temperature of the main body, even though the boiling will be taking place, so that is called as a, a subcooled boiling. When the water start boiling at the saturation temperature of the water, so such type of boiling is called as a, a saturated boiling that one is. Okay, all of you understood? Okay. Hello, Sakib? Yes, sir. Yes, you have, do you have any doubt? Anybody, anybody here? No, no doubt, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Hello, sir. Hi, guys. Do you have any doubt in the all types? So, what is the boiling and uh, types of boiling? No, sir. Hello, do you have any doubt? You can ask the questions. Do you have any doubt? Okay, we'll go for the. Yes? Yes, sir. Do you have any doubt? We can go for the. Okay? Okay. We'll go for the. Yes, Sakib, you can yes. go? Yes. Yeah, you can go, sir. Yes, so uh, we nice to study about uh, uh, why we studied that one is there. Already we discussed that uh, pool boiling and flow boiling and uh, what is called as the uh, sub cooled boiling and what is called as the saturated boiling that one is. Now we are going to discuss about uh, pool boiling as per your uh, so that one is examination point, to point of view. So this is called as a pool boiling, a different regimes of the pool boiling, okay? So these are called as the different regimes of the pool boiling. Uh, what is called as natural convection boiling. And uh, I'm requesting all the students, please concentrate here, okay? Please concentrate here. So this is very important. This is only one important questions they will ask. You can go through the question paper. That means uh, uh, many times they ask this question. Describe the pool boiling of different regions, that one is, okay? So that's one is they ask, you have to draw this diagram and uh, you have to write some words about this diagram, that one is, okay? So this is called as a pool boiling. So boiling takes different forms depending on the uh, DT excess or delta T, okay? Excess temperature, excess temperature, okay? What is the excess temperature? Excess temperature is called as a TS minus T set. What is a TS? TS is called as a, a surface temperature. Understand? Here, this one is the any vessel is there. So, surface temperature is called as a, a TS here. That one is. Understand? So, T saturation. Okay? T saturation temperature. That one is. Okay? So, TS surface temperature minus saturation temperature. So, that gives that is called as a whatever the temperature gradient that is called as the excess temperature. Understand? 
So that is the base on this excess temperature, how the curve will be a draw that is. So you come to know about that is in the pool boiling. What is the basic definition of the pool boiling? The pool boiling means does not flow, does not flow of bulk of water. Understand? It is a stationary. Understand? It is a stationary. So in that cases, heat transfer to the vessel and how the boiling will be taking place in the pool boiling, we have to discuss about that. Okay. Here, so x-axis, remember here this is called as the x-axis. X-axis that is called as the delta T excess temperature. What we are taking here, so this is called as the delta T, this is called as the x-axis, understand? So this is the excess temperature that is Ts minus T saturation temperature in degree Celsius that is represented in the x-axis. So 1, 5, 10, 30, 100, 120, that is a thousand. Okay, it may be like anything that way. Okay, x-axis that means different that means that represent the delta excess temperature that is equal to Ts minus T saturation temperature that means where Ts is called as the surface temperature of the solids and T saturation is called as the saturation temperature of the a liquid here that means which is in the vessel. And y-axis, what is the y-axis? Y-axis is represent the watt per meter square. What is the watt per meter square? What is the watt per meter square? Heat transfer per unit area, understand? What is the heat transfer per unit area? Heat flux. Understand? So that one is the heat flux here. Okay? That's y axis represent that one is the heat flux here. That one is. Understand? So that one is the Q boiling. So a small Q. Okay? Here you look into the that one is a small Q that represent card as the heat flux here. That one is. Okay? So done. So we will discuss about these things. Okay? Suppose the Excess temperature is one degree Celsius. Excess temperature is one degree Celsius. Okay, so here that one is the a vessel here. Then it is called as a one not three degree Celsius or surface temperature. And this one is the hundred degree Celsius. Suppose that one is the excess temperature is one degree Celsius or two degree Celsius or three degree Celsius. Okay, then so what happens? You know that one is the natural convection understand suppose that one is the this one is the 100 degree celsius okay here the fluid understand so that one is the if the difference between the temperature of the solid surface and the water is one degree celsius or that is called as a excess temperature is one degree celsius so what happens you know that one is natural convection will be taking place understand natural convection boiling will be taking place at least understand natural convection boiling will be taking place okay but that one is the natural connection means that one is the heat transfer heat transfer by the a natural convection from the surface to the a, that is called as the water that one is understand so that one is the up to up to the excess temperature pi understand up to the excess temperature pi what is the excess temperature ts minus t sat up to the excess temperature of pi, understand, up to the excess temperature phi, the whatever the boiling occurs, that is due to the a natural convection heat transfer that one is, understand? So like that, then, so we have to note down that one is the heat flux will be 10 to 3 and that one is the, up to that one is the 10 to 3 uh, pole, okay, that one is the natural convection heat transfer will be taking place that one is okay up to the excess temperature five and this one is the linearly the curve is linearly moving if you draw that one is the curve that the excess temperature versus the heat flux that one is and again if the further heating will be taking place understand if the further heating will be taking place okay if you start the further heating okay here in the diagram is given further heating will be taking place Excess temperature is also increases. Understand? Excess temperature is also increases. Okay? That is called as the temperature difference is also increases. That one is. And if the excess temperature is increases, 
heat transfer from the plate to the water will also increases understand if the heat transfer is also increases then boiling will be start understand boiling will be start that one is okay that is called as a nucleate boiling understand nucleate boiling that one is understand means nucleation means that one is called as a, a starting of the bubbles will be taking place understand starting of the bubbles will be taking place here that one is understand so what i am discuss that one is up to 5 excess temperature 5 natural convection heat transfer will be taking place and after that one is the so the excess temperature 5 then again heating will be increases and heating will be increase so the sun is a continue then excess temperature is also increases and so due to this excess temperature then bubbles formation will be taking place understand bubbles formation will be taking place and some one two three like that bubbles understand so one two like that that is the bubble bubbles formation will be taking place that bubbles will move to the upward because of the density of the bubbles will be reduces if the density of the bubbles will be reduces it will displaces from lower portions to the higher portion and the bubbles which is below that portion will occupy the that portion so what are the replaced portion of the, the moving bubble that is understand okay so this things will be happening that way up to the excess temperature okay 10 degrees celsius this is called as the first a understand the bubbles formation will be taking place understand so the, at a point b what you hear that is the bubbles formation nucleation of the bubbles understand means certain is starting nucleating means certain is the starting starting of the bubbles will be taking place up to the point b here that one is then once the the excess temperature crosses 10 understand once the excess temperature crosses means it is further heating if again if the heating will be taking place further heating will be taking place the excess temperature is also increases understand excess temperature is also increases if the excess temperature is also increases more and more bubbles nucleations will be taking place and more and more bubbles will be rise top understand more and more bubbles will be rise top button this is the second part of the second region here that one okay this is the a to b is called as the first part and b to c is called as the second part that one is understand here again that one is the heat flux will be increases from b to c if the more bubbles will be formation will be taking place and more bubbles will be raised to the, to the top portion of the liquid that one is understand so this is the due to the excess temperature okay increase in the excess temperature the bubbles rise to the free surface free surface means that one is called as a, a surface of the liquid understand surface of the liquid that one is okay so that one is the c that one is the what is the c is called as a, a maximum maximum or critical heat flux understand okay what is the critical heat flux or the maximum heat flux means that one is the flux will be maximum okay at the particular axis temperature understand so up to that one is the flux will be increases heat flux will be increases below that so uh, above that above sorry that means above that if there is any increases in the excess temperature if is there is any increases in the excess temperature the heat flux will not increases okay heat flux will not increases it will be reduces that one is understand why i am telling that one is okay i will tell about that one is okay so i think all of you understand what is the nucleate boiling and if the excess temperature is increases the bubbles will be formation will be taking place one or early that one is the initially that one is the one or two bubbles or three bubbles or four bubbles will be taking place and that bubbles whatever the nucleations will start that means it will be moving upward and 
further again if the excess temperature increases due to the heating understand then more and more bubbles will be rise to the top portion and that one is the uh, what is called as a more and more bubbles will displaces and moves to the upward portion understand then the heat flux will be so that one is raised that one is called as a maximum heat flux or the critical heat flux beyond that one the critical heat flux that one is the heat flux will not be increases even the excess temperature is increases understand why because of that reason the more and more bubbles will be rise more and more bubbles will be rise so if the surface temperature is increases about 180 degrees celsius what given in the diagram and saturation temperature of the water is called as 100 degrees celsius the vapor formation will be taking place just above the surface of the solid understand okay here if the such that's a this a plate temperature will be more understand and water temperature is the saturation temperature if the plate temperature is 180 degrees celsius water temperature is a 100 degrees celsius saturation temperature of the water is 100 degrees celsius more and more bubbles will be raised to the top if the more and more bubbles will be raised to the top evaporation will be taking place this evaporations or vapor formation will be formed just above the surface of plate just above the surface of the plate the vapor thermal conductivity of the vapor is very very less understand the thermal conductivity what are the vapor formation will be taking place on the surface of the plate okay is where thermal conductivity of the vapor is very very less hence if we transfer the more and more heat also then heat transfer will not takes place to the liquid because of the the blanket of vapor formed on the surface it will avoid the heat transfer it will also that means it will so objects the heat transfer from the surface to the liquid hence that means the heat flux will be reduces here heat flux will be reduces means what i am telling that means if you so heat further after the heat flux maximum heat flux when it reach the vapor formations just above the surface of the plate will be taking place just with this vapor objects the further heat transfer to the fluid from the surface of the a solid that one is because of the thermal conductivity of the vapor is very very less hence due to that reason the heat flux will be reduces after the the that one is the exact or that one is a 30 to 35 of the excess temperature understand okay then whatever the so this is called as a transient boiling after c that's a transient boiling why it is called as a transient boiling the vapor formation will be taking place understand from liquid to the vapor understand so that means after the critical heat flux after the critical heat flux whatever the excess temperature is increases heat flux will be reduces then whatever this region okay is called as a transition boiling that is why it is called as a transition boiling this is a conversion of liquid to vapor will be taking place that one is understand so that one is the heat flux will be reduces okay whatever the okay the vapor will be formed vapor will be formed on the plate hence the heat flux will be so that one is the reduces the vapor sometimes the vapor is unstable understand vapor is unstable means that it is not stable it may sometimes disappear also understand sometimes it will be disappear also that one is understand in the transition boiling the formation of the vapor is called as the unstable vapor understand unstable vapor that one is so it 
sometimes it will be disappear also hence the heat fluxes will be reduced the suddenness and so up to this point point c if any if any that one is the a formation of the vapor will be taking place heat flux is also reduces and whatever that one is the vapor is called as a, a unstable vapor that one is understand unstable vapor that one is and even if the further heating okay if the further heating taking place if the further heating taking place excess temperature is also increases understand excess temperature is also increases okay suppose here is given that one is a 400 degrees celsius understand here that one is called as the 400 degrees celsius that one is the a surface temperature 100 degrees celsius is called as the a saturation temperature of the water so more surface temperature occurs than 400 minus 100 it is called as a 300 excess temperature understand so 300 excess temperature. So if it is the excess at the point D, at the point D, excess temperature is 120 degrees Celsius. After this point D, whatever the vapor, whatever the vapor which is above the plate, understand, becomes the stable. Okay, becomes the stable, complete blackhead on the what is called as the so on the plate that one is understand complete blackhead blanket understand so so that means on the surface that one is understand so in that cases radiation heat transfer will be taking place understand radiation heat transfer will be taking place understand if the vapor is a stable completely blanket there will no questions of the more liquid understand there is no questions of the more liquid that is or bubbles that is in that cases how the heat transfer will be taking place that is only due to the radiation only understand so that is in that cases whatever the vapor forms on the a surface of the plate that is called as a stable and the heat transfer again is a taking place due to the increase in the excess temperature that is due to the only radiation after the point D. Hence, the point D is called as a leaden for frost point that is called as a Q minimum. Where the leaden point, okay, leaden frost point, where that one is the point, where that one is the, so heat flux is called as a min, minimum heat flux. Here, in this case, what is called as a film boiling? Why it is called as a film boiling? Means that one is called as the the film of vapor, film of vapor will be formed on the what is called as a plate. That one is called as a film boiling. That one is that the heat transfer is maximum due to the radiations only. After this point, again the critical heat that one is the heat flux will be increases. Understand? Again the heat flux will be increases. That one is so. This is the a uh, full boiling. The mechanism of full boiling that means these are called as the different regimes of the full boiling one is called as a natural convection boiling other one is called as a nucleate boiling now the nucleation of the boiling so first part and second part and what is called as a transient boiling and so transient boiling means that one is called as the so what is called as the transition of the liquid phase to vapor phases will be taking place what is called as the critical heat flux and what is called as the epilum boiling that one is okay here again that one is if the excess temperature is increases then complete stable film will be formed stable film will be formed on the surface then what is called as a heat transfer taking place that is due to the radiation satellites and this is the what is called as burnout point e is called as a burnout why point is called as a burnout means that is if even the excess temperature is increases the melting of the plate will be taking place understand melting of the plate will be taking place hence it is called as a point e is called as a, a burnout point understand if the melting point of the uh, plate is uh, that one is called as the 900 degrees Celsius, 1000 degrees Celsius. Beyond that, we should not go. Understand? Because of the burnout will be taking place. 
Understand? Hence, that prince is called as the uh, burnout. 